tfm.com.au. Everyone, I've uh, got to start with Happy Halloween. Hey. Happy Halloween. I love this time of year. It's a lot of fun. A lot of pumpkin heads. I wish I could go trick-or-treating. Well, you, well, you can. can. No. You know what you should do? You should kn- knock on the door and they say, who are you? You should say, I'm dressed up as Charlie from High Five. Oh, my God. They want me to try and pull my mask. It won't come off. Yeah. But we have a guy right now who is absolutely enthralling. His name's Dan, and he's a local guy, and he's got a, a business called Paranormal Projects. And we have you on to talk all things ghosts. Good morning, Dan. Dan? Good morning. How are you, Charlie? Good. Now, tell me about this. So, you're a ghostbuster. You're a ghostbuster. Well, te- technically, I'm not really a ghostbuster as such. I'm more of a paranormal investigator, but I do love the reference of being called a ghostbuster. Just go, um, just don't really have the, uh, the the backpack to go with it. But, yeah, um... well, would that be a <laughs> vacuum cleaner if that was the thing that you're oh. going to take out? It, it, it would be great to have a massive vacuum cleaner on the back there and just run up to someone and just try and, you know, get the spirit out of them type thing. So, so what do you <laughs> use then? What, what's your When you go into someone's house and they say, look, I think I've got ghosts in my house, what do you do? Quite a process to it to start with. They'll usually email us or give us a call and we'll go through a phone interview to start with. And then we go through the house and then we try and debunk as much as we actually possibly can. Well, so when you're in there, right, just say, you know, a house has a ghost. What are the instruments and what exactly do you do to find it, name it, and capture it? it And bag it. (laughs) And bag it. (laughs) Um, Okay, so basically what we usually use, uh, we've got uh, surveillance systems, so usually a four-channel surveillance system. Um, We use night vision uh, uh, handheld uh, camcorders. Yeah. Um, we use uh, voice recorders as well. And then we go into the uh, bit more of the technical side of things with equipment like K2 meters and Mel meters. No, but they're really good because they, they, they pick up frequencies and ghosts are basically just frequencies in a house, like a memory almost. So if you're on the frequency of the same ghost, that's where you yeah. can see it. And Matt, you may not, and I will see it because I'm on that, happen to be on the same Is frequency. Is it kind of like you reach in your TV and you can yeah, see ghosts? Yeah, it's exactly. So that thing that Dan's saying he can use can pick up on different frequencies in the house. Oh, right. So you're that's on the frequency. It, yeah. well, are there, okay, <laughs> so exactly are, there, right. are there any Gold Coast ghosts that you've ran into? few cases on the Gold Coast that have actually, yeah, have actually warranted some some evidence that we have yeah. captured. Did you find out who they were, like the story behind the ghost? Yeah, it's usually, uh, from what we've ascertained, it's usually a family member or something like that, or a disgruntled spirit as well. Um, it's usually trying to you know, get the attention of the occupant as well. Is that someone that's not happy with the contract or... <laughs> like... <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. The terms and conditions are all wrong. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I wasn't meant to die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you ever do what I do? Because I use sage. When I don't feel comfortable, like in a hotel room or something, I'll burn sage around the room. Do you do that or am I a bit weird? No, no, that's all good. That's, a, um, that's actually quite good. So that, that clears all the negative energy and all that in, in the room itself. And the best way to do that is to start it from one room and actually sage all the way to like a like the front door or the back door. And so it's actually pushing all the energy out of the door. Well, That's really cool. Mate, thank you so much for uh, coming on the air with us this yeah. morning. We really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully in your travels you might find the ghost of Warwick Kappa's career or something like that <laughs> here on the Gold Coast. Yeah. You know, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of dead celebrity careers here. So Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's one of the one that dingy strip clubs around. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Have you got yeah. a website if we want to check you out? Yeah, we've got our website. It's www.paranormalproject.com.au. Good stuff. Yeah, mate. All the best, Dan. There he is, Dan, a real-life ghostbuster uh, from the Gold Coast on the air right here at CFM.